Hello everyone, this is Casey Lynch, GrabCAD Community Manager, and these are the release notes for GrabCAD Print 1.31. We are pleased to announce that Advanced FDM, which we released in 1.24, is now available for the Stratasys F170 and F270 3D printers. Advanced FDM allows you to customize infill in different sections of the model using actual CAD geometry, as well as modify whole geometry for printability. You can learn more about Advanced FDM here at the link below. We are also pleased to announce that the new Advanced PolyJet features have been released with this update. To turn on the Advanced PolyJet features, you must go to File, Preferences, PolyJet, and check which printer you would like to turn the Advanced PolyJet slicer on for. Advanced PolyJet brings in updates such as Pantone validated colors, BRMLs with transparency, improved estimations, custom support options, and custom part priorities of assembly. If you would like to learn more about Advanced PolyJet, please check out the link below. The new version of GradCAD Print Server runs as a Windows service. It will continue to run even if your Windows user is logged out. Additionally, it is compatible with Windows Server 2012 and can be installed alongside with the per machine version of GradCAD Print. This upgrade is not automatic. You must download with the link provided in the release notes. Now we will discuss some of the other upgrades that we have added in 1.31. First, we have added mesh repair for VRML files. Analysis mode can now repair mesh errors in textured VRML files. So if you import a VRML file that has self-intersections, open faces, or inverted normals, GrabCAD Print can fix those for you with just a click of a button. We have also added better error messages for unsupported files. The error message when you try to add a model from a CAD package which is not yet supported, such as Inventor 2020, will now be more informative than a generic failure message. Next, we added the Edit the Self-Supporting Angle. For FDM printers, supports are generated whenever the angle of the part surface drops below a specific value, known as self-supporting angle and now the value is adjustable in the print settings panel. You can now increase or decrease the amount of supports that are generated and also restore the value to the default recommendation, which varies to different printers and materials. And lastly, we have added better conflict resolution for CMB files. Adding a CAD or CMB file that does not match the file or settings in the current GrabCAD print project generates a conflict instead of an error. A new warning allows you to save changes and open a new project. And that is all what we have for you in GrabCAD print 1.31. My name is Kesa Lynch, GrabCAD Community Manager. Thank you so much for watching.